dreams from obscurity to unforgettable. Canada was going to the World Cup for the second time ever, and the first time in my lifetime, and I was there when we clinched it. I live in the middle of this big old country, so my family and I decided to fly to Toronto to watch the game versus Jamaica, which ended up being the crucial game where we would solidify our place in the World Cup, thanks to a stupid red card and loss in Costa Rica. Anyways, since we had the weekend in Toronto, we decided to do some silly little tourist stuff. <laughs> this was the view from the breakfast place in the hotel. It looks like every baseball fan is packed in for the game tonight. The CN Tower was walking distance from the hotel, so we decided to go. It was really tall. Next, we did some shopping. Are you recording or are you taking recording. a picture? You're taking a picture? No, I'm recording. I went to Kensington Market and I got a cool ring from a Peruvian dude who was selling his stuff on the sidewalk. We also got tickets to see the Raptors play the Pacers. The arena was pretty nice, and it was so cool to see the Raptors banner among all the Leafs banners up in the rafters. We only got to see the first quarter and a half until the Toronto Police Department had to evacuate the whole stadium because the speaker was on fire. Pretty cool. Here's the Raptors announcer shushing us. Calmly evacuate the building. There is no threat. Shh. Here's all the commotion outside of the arena after it was evacuated. <laughs> Finally, Sunday morning, and in true Canadian fashion, the gods have decided to start the day of qualification off with a bit of snow. We arrive at BMO Field half an hour early, only to wait another half hour for parking. Here's my dad's thoughts on the matter. Yeah, this is fucked. Just open the fucking gates, man. Put it in my We finally get to our seats around the 12th minute, just in time to witness this. Let's go! Half time. Tejon Buchanan scored just before the break to put us 2 0 up, and at this point, I was pumped. I forgot to record the goal because I was just trying to live in the moment. Pass me on target. That wasn't even Not even in. fucking close. <laughs> Overall, what an experience. I'm so happy with how much the sport has grown in this country, and I can't wait to watch Canada play at a World Cup. Besides the women, young Canadians can now emulate and look up to Alfonso Davies or Jonathan David instead of players like Messi or Ronaldo, and I think that's beautiful. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to me. I plan on making more soccer related content and this video is just the first of many. 
Also, please leave a comment to help the algorithm share this video with more people. And if you're mad I said soccer, also please leave a comment as well. Thanks.